really cold. Yes. So now it's 4.50 before the sunrise. Almost. Sunrise. Yes. So I love this morning most in a day. This like 4 or 5 a.m. morning vibes. I love it. I just love it. You know, like, uh, you know, before humans wake up. Very peaceful, calm. I just like it. So, what do you guys say? Some street morning vibes photography? Good? Sounds good? Okay, let's go. Darling, I'm selfish. Wish I could love you. But you don't tell me how much you want it. Was very beautiful morning vibes photography. You guys like it? That was fun. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new video and thank you for tuning in. So a few days ago, I found an interesting question. That was about my editing workflow and the video export setting. Back then, when I started YouTube, that was also a nightmare. Because I didn't know what to start off with. So I believe there were some people for having the same experience as I did out there. So today, I'm going to take you to the journey of my editing workflow from start to export. So first, I'll start off with rough edit, which is basically place footages on timeline and cut where I don't need. And most of the time, I have both of like a talking part footage and insert shots. I use those footages when I want to emphasize what I say. So first thing I do is place talking part footage on timeline and cut where I don't need. After that, place other footages, also do the cutting. At this point, I don't place those insert shots at where they're supposed to because next I'm jumping to the Vint Resolve for color grading. So first, I'll show you guys how to move this timeline from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. First, create a folder and name whatever you want. And in Premiere Pro, go to File, Export, and Final Cut Pro XML. And save in a folder you just made. And jump to DaVinci Resolve, create a new project, go to File, select Import Timeline. And then select Import XML. Now the timeline you created in Premiere Pro moved to DaVinci Resolve perfectly. And I do color grade all of these footages. Okay, after color grading in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna do detailed editing in Premiere Pro. First, place those insert shots at where they're supposed to. Just drag those on the talking part, make a sequence more understandable, and finish it up. And do other details like a split screen or create a transition. Those small things are also very important to make a whole video easy to watch. And then, moving to outro. So, in YouTube, you can suggest a couple of videos at 20 seconds before the end of the video. It's called end screen, which I always do. So for that end screen, I make specific format. Very easy. Just keyframe 20 seconds before the end and moving forward a little bit and make the scale smaller and change position like this. And place some photos or videos. In my case, I place a thumbnail under this footage. And at the end screen when you upload video, I mean when you do title and description. This video has also end screen, so watch until the last. Stay tuned. And at the last, I do sound design. First of all, I edit audio, I mean my voice, using EQ, herd limiter, and D noise. I made a how to edit audio in Premiere Pro before. If you're interested, here's a video for you. And add some background music, I always set volume 35. This works best for me. And sometimes I cut background music while I'm talking like this. Now, the word got a power. 
Yes, this technique is also useful when you want to emphasize words. And then add some sound effect like a ooh sound as a transition, like this. So last thing I do is, of course, export what I've created so far. First of all, I make videos with 23.976, which is 24 FPS, and 3840 times 1920. 4K. That way, the video is white. Now you can see some thin black bars on top and bottom. If you want to go with normal 4K, it's 3840 and 2160. Or 1920 times 1080 if you go with 1080p. And select render at maximum depth for great quality. And moving to the encoding setting. Performance, software encoding, profile, high, level 6.2. I'm not quite sure what those mean. I think you know, it's like a you know how good you want to you know finish the video up. So I set maximum and no change until the bitrate setting. So YouTube officially shows appropriate bitrate for each resolution and frame rate. In my case, it'll be this SDR upload and 4K 24fps. Sometimes I use 120fps, so that means lower limit is 35 and maximum limit is 68. So what I do in Premiere Pro is select the VBR2 pass, which has two bit rate. One of them is target bit rate, which is something like a average bit rate. And another one is maximum limit. The reason why I choose this is, okay, imagine the video is series of uh, data waves and depends on footage that data waves goes higher and lower and that bitrate is something that can process the data wave so you don't need to go with highest bitrate always through the whole video we want average bitrate and maximum limit for when that wave goes high so i said 50 for target bitrate and 80 for maximum now i perfectly cover youtube recommended bitrate setting does this make sense if not comment below and at the last this section select use maximum render quality and select frame sampling an estimated file size will be almost 4 gigabyte come on 4 gigabyte it's so huge but you can reduce it by lowering bitrate setting or encoding setting or resolution but i always go with these settings this works best for me so far hope it helps okay so i was struggling to find my best editing workflow so i tried many things and I failed many times. But now, I kind of put my foot down. I am comfortable with this workflow. Editing requires you a lot of hard work. Sometimes it's tough, rough, hard, and huge. So that's why you need to find the best workflow that can go well with you, which you can feel comfortable. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, don't hesitate to leave some comment below. And I have a question for you. Do you have any strange, weird, unique editing process? If you have it, leave a comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and a hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So today's morning, I did some kind of you know street photography stuffs. That was very fun, and I woke up like a 4:30 a.m. in this morning, a.m. in this morning, and I went out before 5, and I was shooting around the city. That was kind of fun, and I wish I had GoPro right here and do some POV photography. That'd be great. You guys want to watch it?